Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Delusional's Arcade. So you can see I got some stuff working here. I have the Super Pac-Man running. Um, it doesn't really run properly. We're actually gonna address that uh, in the next few episodes. But in the meantime, it is actually the last episode of the year. I can't believe we've actually done 52 episodes plus this year. That's one every single week. I kept my New Year's resolution all year round. So uh, I'm really proud of that. Uh, but what we're gonna do, we're just gonna have a little fun with this. We're gonna actually go on our main cabinet. We never really play with this. We always play with the originals. And uh, this is a really good cabinet. It's one of the first cabinets that I built. So I guess without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay, so like I said earlier, you know, we're doing really good. These are all the cabinets. My midway row is actually starting to uh, take shape there. Uh, we have some donor monitors that we got to do. That's kind of stuff we're going to be working on during the year. And of course, uh, this one I may throw a PC in there and make it a Steam-based PC to have all fighting games. Right now it has an Xbox One in there. If you guys want to see a uh, video on that, I can actually do a video on my custom Xbox One. Um, one meaning the original, uh, the first Xbox that came out um, where I modded it and I just threw some games on it, put some LEDs on it. looks pretty cool. It's all custom. Uh, this one here you guys already saw. This is another episode. You can see the series if you want to click on the link above. And of course we have Rolling Thunder as well when I did a restoration and I will continue on that probably in the spring once it gets nice. I want to put some laminate and side art on it. And then this is the uh, you know small cocktail that I use. It's a uh, JAMA based cocktail. Right now I just have Tetris in there. Uh, but anyway, if you guys want to see any um, particular game, you know, if you, if you guys enjoy this series right here, this is my main machine. Um, I can kind of go through it and, um, you know, just show you what I have here. So first thing I'm going to start with, I'm actually going to turn the light on here. And I'm going to show you my panel. Like this panel is actually uh, <laughs> pretty outdated. I had lightning theme way back when. So uh, I have basically a four player layout. Uh, but this one's a little unique where I have dual joysticks. So we have the uh, player one here and this is also player one. So you can play games like Total Carnage and Smash TV. I'd gotten this actually um, after I had gotten my Smash TV machine, but I wanted to play Total Carnage and all these other games. Uh, the Player 2 also has that as well. So you have this one right here along with that one. Um, they're also for Player 2. And what's cool about it is that um, I'm only using an iPack 4 on this and I'm duplicating inputs. So I have this input along with this input actually sharing it because you're never playing, um, when it comes to co-op games, you're never playing Player 3 and 4. So I kind of use this input which is equal to that one. So they're never there at the same time. Um, it is pretty cool. If you guys wanted me to do an in-depth video on that, I can. I plan to do another one with wiring and uh, how to wire a, a control panel and how to daisy chain and all that because I have older ones um, that you can kind of see here. I'll link to them on top, but they're pretty old and uh, you know, the lighting wasn't as good back then. So I can redo it on this panel. Uh, anyway, moving on, we have a four player dedicated joystick. This is a Mispack joystick you see here. Um, and uh, anyway, so you have player one button, player two button, and then over here they have the, uh, they also double as buttons as well if you're righty or lefty, but these two here are the mouse buttons. There's right click and left click. And then my trackball is an RGB trackball. I used to have it set to blue, but then I kind of changed it to red just to match player one. But this can actually cycle between all different colors. Um, and then the layout here, I actually lost one of the buttons. I think I used it on a project that I had. <laughs> but this one here, you can see that the uh, exit button uh, is white, but it used to be black. So at one point, you know, I had all these in black. Um, I had the start buttons in black as well. Uh, but anyway, um, so I have, if you look here, even though it's a menu button, I had it set to the Asteroids layout. So you can actually play Asteroids. Um, I have it set to currently, if you hit exit, it goes out. but um, originally when I first built this panel I had it you had to hold down exit for like five or six seconds and then it would go and exit the game so you can actually go into asteroids and then assign the buttons to play wherever you want to play so it was really cool so you know for this I mean we call it a Franken panel at this point um, but you know it was really cool at the time and it still is cool a lot of people like to enjoy it. it's four players at one time um, you could play um, I believe Dungeons and Dragons which has four buttons here for three players and four players uh, and then also you can see it has a Mortal Kombat uh, 3 layout, which has the run button here. And then instead of having block in the middle, I have two blocks. Usually I set these both to block and all that stuff. Uh, what else do I have on here? I have a spinner for games like Arkanoid. Uh, it also works with driving games, works with OutRun, believe it or not. 
Um, and then I have this flight stick, which I originally took out and I'm kind of kicking myself. This flight stick I had modded to be, to have a restrictor in there. The current restrictor in there is the eight way restrictor and it does really, really terrible for the light cycle stage. It kind of zigzags and goes out of control. So you really need a four way for that. But Tron was very unique where it had a restrictor that was very, um, it was kind of rubbery and stuff and a little different. And I have some samples here just to show you. So this one here is the original one. This is the one I took out uh, to modify it. I used to have another stick that I basically took this out. It's a typical HAP uh, controller. And then this right here is the Tron. Uh, I believe this is the, it might be the original, but it might be the replica as well, because I bought a couple of them. So you could see this one here is actually a four-way restrictor versus eight-way. But the four-way, it's kind of, this one's very rigid. But this one here, it's kind of, see how it flexes like that? So even though it's a four-way, you can actually push it in the directions and it will go diagonal. So that's the kind of restrictor that Tron had in it. It's a very special one. So what I'm going to do is in a future episode, um, I used to have a stick that did that and I sold it because my son could not see past, you know, he was a little too small to see over that. Now he's a little bigger and he kind of wants it back. He wants to have Tron and all the other games. And that's why I have the spinner right next to it. And we love Tron. So um, I actually put, you know, another stick in here that I had gotten through a friend. He actually gave it to me and um, I just have to modify it. So currently it has this restrictor in there, which is the default HAP one for eight way. But we're gonna go ahead and mod it and stick this one in there. There's a couple things you gotta do. You gotta break some seals and stuff, but it's pretty simple to do and it hasn't been documented on video. I know there's a great tutorial on byoac.com. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna do that in the future. For now, it's not gonna work with Tron, but it will in the future, like I said. And then we have, uh, you know, like I said, everything else, Mortal Kombat layout and stuff. Oh, we do have pinball buttons, by the way. And I don't have any pinball things installed, but it does have a plunger button right here. I usually set it for the down on this here where you just hold it down and then let go. And it feels more realistic to a plunger. And then I have up to four buttons, you know, to like change views. Some of them have nudges. So I'll set like, um, you know, this for the first flipper, that for the second one, that for nudge and stuff like that. And it's pretty comfortable, even though it's a wide panel. You know, I'm a big guy, so my, my arms are nice and wide. And I can kind of do this where I rest here and then you can just play pinball, you know, uh, virtual pinball on here. So it really is kind of an all-in-one machine, but um, I wanted to downsize it at one point, but then when I got a bigger place and I got the house, I said, you know what, it's just, uh, I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> so what I may do is I may update it. Right now I'm running Hyperspin. I may update it to have, um, you know, a different front end. Um, you know, maybe the, the one with the big box mode. I can't recall offhand what it is, uh, but I'll probably use that instead. I think it's Launchbox. Um, and, you know, it's really robust and I did pay for it, so I may just switch it over to that. Um, and then keep it strictly arcade. And then as far as um, Steam, I'm gonna remove it from there and I'll just throw it in the other machine, which you saw over here. I'm gonna kind of go to it real quick. So I'm gonna kind of put it in this one here, make this a Steam machine, which is widescreen, and I'll have the X inputs with the, um, you know, the Xbox controllers, which are modified for that, and I'll, you know, kind of just wire it up that way. So, yep, so that's it. So that's my plans for everything. So let's go ahead anyway. We're gonna have some fun here. I just wanted to play some MAME. It's actually Christmas day, it's late, and the, uh, the household has gone to sleep, and I said, you know what, let me throw together a quick little video here and have some fun. I feel like playing MAME. Uh, so let me go ahead and turn this down. I'll set up the video camera and then uh, we'll kind of pick what game we want to play. Okay, so we're back in the menu here. So this is the Arcade Classics, which we're going to focus on. Um, you can go to like PC games to have on here. Like I have a couple on here. I'll show you really, really fast. Um, I have Angry Birds. I have Zuma. Um, I have Steam games like Braid, Castle Crashers, you know, uh, Mickey's Castle of Illusion. I have DuckTales, you know, stuff like that. Just, you know, really cool games. What's the other one that I have on here? Feeding Frenzy is really a fun one. Feeding Frenzy. Double Frenzy. There's that shark. Oh, nice. I got lucky. So now I can eat everything. 
Except for that shark. It can still kill me. Alright. Okay, so now you see like a boss in the background. So you can eventually become that guy. I think I have to pass this one here. I'm not really sure, I can't remember. Oh no, it just told me I have a new fish now. So what's cool is that you can press, you can right click now, and you can suck all these fish in. Let's see. I got an extra life. Nice. Whoa, that was close. Still dodge around. I can get these guys. Nope, I don't want that. Ah. Oh. All right, so that's Feeding Frenzy. Um, I have other games here, Electronic Super Droids. It's just really cool games that are all in there. So Fix It Felix, I don't think is functional at this point. Geometry Wars is on here. I think it works. Let's try checking it out. And let's resume. There it is. So I can shoot up, down, left, right. So this is kind of like Robotron. That's another reason I have the dual joysticks on here. I have some games on here that there's uh, games like this that are co-op, where you have two people at the same time, so you'll need all the controls. Man, it's been a while since I've played this game, especially on micro switches. Let's try to see how far we get. It gives you multipliers. As long as you don't use that bomb, you're good. Yeah. Now it resets, of course. use it because <laughs> I was about to die. So if you shoot that it actually sucks them in there. See that? Um, but like right now that was not good. Why can't I shoot? You could actually kill these here. So it'll save you. See how they get sucked in? But then it'll explode. So you don't want it to get too far into it. Whoa, let's see those little things follow you. So that's it, it's pretty cool. Runs really good on my main machine here. I'm just gonna end it here. Um, entering anything. Okay, so let's go ahead and quit the game. And we're gonna get out of this and we're gonna go to, you know, any one of these. I have uh, Daphne, I have Neo Geo, Turbo Graphics, M2 emulator, Game Gear, you know, all the consoles, basically, every single one here. Dreamcast. And they are one fine. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and go to... Let's see. Let's go to ColecoVision. I always like that one. And, of course, let's do Donkey Kong. Let's see if I can go here. Did I go backwards? I might have. 
Yeah, I did. Okay, Boulder Dash, let's see. Defender, Donkey Kong. All right, so this is programmed automatically that when you press player one, it presses the keypad. Okay. So I'm just gonna show you a quick warp, which I love to show people. So there's a little glitch in the game. If you go here, you can actually go through the floor. It warps you to the next board. <laughs> I want to do a video on that where I show people where the stuff is. There's all kinds of stuff you can do on this. This is also broken where if you go up, see how it goes slow or down? That's how it's supposed to go. But if you press up twice, it goes up fast. Or down twice, it goes down fast. So it wasn't a perfect port, but it's still, you know, it's pretty good. I'm going this way so I can finish the board. I like getting the hammer. And let me get one guy. Oh, I can't get him. There we go. All right, let me just get out of here. So there's only two levels in here, not three, like in the real game. There's no springs either in this uh, version. There you go. So let me go ahead and escape. I'm gonna exit the game. Uh, I got Atari on here as well. I should do one. They have a zookeeper now, I heard, for Atari. I wonder if I can throw it on there and try it. Okay, so we're in my main list, and of course I brought up Millipede. <laughs> I uh, actually had it in here because I was trying to figure out test mode. And if you recall, at one time I had like a little smudge here. See how it looks kind of weird? And I just confirmed that it's fine in MAME. Uh, so I believe um, to get out of this, you have to just, uh, let's see, uh, select the machine. I can't remember if it was this one. Service mode on, I want it off. And then we'll reset the game. There we go. So behaves exactly the same, so let's put a quarter in, and mess around with it. And let's see. It's a little more sensitive, I guess, because it's MAME, it's not perfect, which uh, is why I like my original machine. Yeah, see, it's not as good. So there you go. So. So I wanted to show it to you really fast, so we're actually going to exit this game. We're not going to play that game because we have the original. But I will go to my favorites, just to put a list of uh, stuff that I've come through. And let's play some games. So let's actually play Moon Patrol. I thought I saw it here. Here we go. I would love to own this game. I do not. Um, but I will one day. It's a really cool Williams game. So let's put a quarter in. All right, here we go. So if you hold right, you go a lot faster and you'll get a better score, but it's a little riskier. So you got jump and you got shoot. So I'm holding right the whole time. I think you can only get away with it in the first level. Pretty good. Got lucky there. Got lucky too. So I think that might be a perfect score, or at least time. Cool, I think that's the only one where it works. <laughs> the rest is a little harder. I'm gonna try, but 
I'm just gonna try doing well here. That was close. Shot the missile. to hit it and jump and I can never do it <laughs> there we go bonus. That's all right. It's because I died too many times. Let's see if we can pass this level. Oh, I forgot about these. Oh. <laughs> you have to go kind of a medium pace here. Cool. Great game. I do want to own it. So eventually one day. All right. So let me escape that. What else do you guys want to play? If you guys want me to do another episode like this where you want certain games uh, to play, I mean, I can do that. Um, let's play Mortal Kombat 2. I haven't played this in a long time. And my specialty person is Melina. I usually like playing player two, so I start on the right, but uh, we'll see if we can hack it here and try it. All right, so now I'm on the dominant side, which I want to be on. Uh, Got lucky there. Round two fight. Oh, come on. Nice. Okay, I want to try to do this. Ah, I was trying to uppercut him to land him in there. So it's been a while, I'm a little slow. <laughs> I can't remember the combo to do that. Let's see if I... Let's see if I could do it. Nope. So there's a fatality where you make them stick on the spikes on that level. I'll try to do a fatality now. I think I remember one. Uh. 
You might beat me here. Okay, here we go. Hey, it worked. Try actually, we can try Mortal Kombat 3. It should be in here. Uh, yeah, we'll use this one. I usually play Ultimate, but we'll try this version first. I like Sub Zero and I like Cyrax. Those are the two guys that I'm good at. I'll play Novice. So I'm a little better at this game, <laughs> as you can see. Okay, let's get out of that one. Let's play something more classic and fun. Mr. Do I could take forever, so I won't play that. <laughs> I'm really good at that game. Same thing on this. Uh, by the way, I've played this. I can't do as well as I can on my arcade machine. Um, it's nothing like playing the real thing. You know, the joystick, the lag. Uh, this is a shoot 'em up. It might take a little too long, so I'm going to skip over it. Uh, you know what? Let's play a classic collection here. So this is cool. I wouldn't mind having this board actually um, in my, um, you know, gap list that I'm building because it's jam, I'm sure. So what's cool about this is that you can play the classic Galaga. Nobody cares about Xevious. Sorry guys, if you like that game, I do not like that game. <laughs> I think it's crap. Mappy's cool, uh, but if you go to Galaga, you can either play the classic Galaga original or arrangement. And arrangement is really cool. You can play two players at the same time. My son and I have played you may have seen that in some videos. But it's just a little more fun, has some really cool music and stuff. Has different weapons you can get. Like rapid fire, you have a beam where you can uh, shoot a laser instead. Challenging stage, let's see. So far so good, I got every one. Ah, I spoke too soon. <laughs> Oh well, I didn't get them all.
Cool. All right, so I'm gonna escape this, uh, but you get the idea, and you could also play two players. So check this out, simultaneous play, it's really neat. You can both shoot, you can both play, it's awesome. So let me escape this game, and I believe this one just has different versions of Pac-Man, which is pretty neat. Ninja Baseball Batman, I have to say this is my favorite, it's a pretty cool game. Outrun, of course, works with the spinner just fine here. For analog, Outrunners is neat too. It's kind of, not really the sequel, but one of the successors for Outrun. Pac-Man Plus, really good game. Prehistoric Isles, cool. Puzzle Bobble is a really good one. You know what, let's play Qbert. Hello, for this to pass. There we go. So I'm used to the four-way instead of diagonal because this is a diagonal joystick, this game. So I know that up goes like this. You know, I can really do well here. Alright, barely got him. So I'm gonna let it go. You get bonuses for each one left over. I'm not sure if you get more for that or if you just kill the snake. Typically I don't get them right away. <laughs> Try to mess around a little bit. Jump over him, which I just did. <clears throat> we should have a bonus here if it ever comes out. There we go. I knew that was going to come out. Alright, we'll just finish it up. I do okay until I hit the third level. Where, um, you know, you have to get everything three times. Just messes me up. It should be okay though, I should just follow it down. There we go. Ugh. Crap. <laughs> so if you're wondering why it looks so good, I'm using Groovy Mame. And Groovy Mame actually sizes it correctly where there's no curve and it looks really good on a, you know, this is a horizontal monitor here. Oh, 
That's a bad lift. That's the other one. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Hey. Hey, aw. Sweet. I had to jump. So I wasted one. Yep, I had to because that guy was gonna kill me. I think this might be the last one. Ugh. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> that was kind of dumb. Let him chase me around a little bit. Oh man, I could have gotten there. That was a free guy. Now it's getting pretty hard. This is the last one, I think, before close to the next one. Ugh, I knew that was going to happen. Oh, man. Okay, I get to put my name in. You gotta press start in order to do fire button because there is no button on this game. Bye bye. Nice. Awesome. Okay, what's cool about MAME 2 is that it saves a high score, so that's good. So let's get out of this. Let's try to see if we can find something else here. Rampart. I love that game. Let's play it. Nice relaxing game. So this one I believe is the trackball version. They do have a Japanese version of this game which is joysticks but it's pretty much like Tetris if you like Tetris but with a little twist but I really love this game. So I'm putting one credit in. One button to start. There we go. So I believe there's a rotate button and a fire button. I'm just uh, playing alone here. You could choose whatever you want. So I'm going to choose recruit, which is beginner. All right, so I'm going to select this one here. I usually go away from the edge here. Okay, so you place your cannons and now you get to shoot. Oh, I missed. Oh, no, I got him. So then you just got to repair your walls. So let's go ahead and do that. And you can get a little greedy here. Like, I'm going to try getting greedy. I'm going to try getting two. It's just really hard with the trackball. Surround castle to stay alive. I'm trying. All right, so I tried getting two, you get a bonus for that. But normally you just have to get one, it's easier. But I try to push the limit here. So now you get more cannons, of course. All right, so now you can go crazy shooting them. Like 
shoot some of these too. That just helps me if I wanna, oh, I finished it, but you could actually shoot your own walls where it's uneven and stuff and you can get a nice straight piece. So let's see how far I can get. I really can't do well after this level, but we'll see. So now I'm starting fresh. Place it right here. You gotta kinda figure out where it's gonna be. So you gotta shoot ahead of time. See, I missed it because it was going too fast. So now you gotta repair your wall. So I'm probably just gonna stay here and repair this here. So you use one to rotate, the other one to do the other one. Here. See, now that I have one, I'm safe. So now I can try getting the rest. I may not do it, but at least I'll try. So now I can get that next round. Unless they shoot it. So I want to shoot whatever's closer. So I got two cannons here. Let's get these two right there. So I want to get these guys because I don't want them attacking my wall. Got him, cool. Because they'll have guys on land, you'll see they'll bring cannons, and those guys come on while you're trying to get everything done here. So yeah, it's just like Tetris a little bit. Ugh. Will I survive? Yes, I will. Rotate right there. So barely. I gotta kill more ships though. So now you get more cannons each round. So it's gonna be a little easier. I sunk a lot of ships, so let's see if it goes to the next round. Nope. Still. Uh, might not survive here. Oh no, I won't. <laughs> so I died. I didn't surround it. That's how you die. So I can continue if I want. So press the button to continue with more firepower. So it's kind of cheating a little bit, but the game allows you to do it, you can do it. Just gotta pay for it. So now I have four instead of the normal two where you start with. All right, let's see if we can pass this level here. It's getting hard. wasn't too bad. I'm trying to go fast here. Yes, I got two. All right. Now I'm going to put them all in here. I'll put one over here just in case. Yeah, I got some. Nice. Alright, so... I may not do this a little tight here. Uh, I gotta put this down there. No, I don't wanna do that. Oh, I got lucky.
I have a lot of cannons, so I can go crazy. Man, that guy was going quick. I kept missing him. Oof. something block here. See these guys actually attack it and kill those. All right, do I have enough? Oh, I don't have enough. So it's one, two, no more room for the third one, so. Now these black ships, they make holes, so you, you want to kill them off right away if you can. Got him. Yes, I conquered. Cool. After continuing. So I'm going to go for this one, which is the furthest. You want to get stuff where there's a lot of room around to do stuff. Because here it's a little confined. So I'm going to face this as forward as I can. So here we go. nervous that happens there we go so I got lucky I have to do better than this though This is getting harder. <laughs> There's nowhere to put anything. Ah, that's gonna kill me. Nope. So I I didn't surround it, so I died. All right. Yep. So that's cool game. And what else can we play? We'll play one more. Reactor's really hard. I have a last credit on that. If you want to click on the link above, it's there. Uh, let's see, what can we play? Let's play Satan's Hollow. All right. So this one's really cool. Um, I love it a lot. I would love to own a, a Satan's Hollow. Each time you shoot a guy, it gives you a puzzle piece here or a bridge piece. See how it disappears, but you'll see it appear on the left. You also have shields. So I'm gonna grab it, move to the right. And see how when I use a shield, it goes down to zero. When you let go, it counts up slowly. So you gotta be careful with that. So, I'm going to grab the piece. I think when it does that, that means uh, you can go across. So I'm not going to go across the bridge just yet. So I killed him. 
Each time you get a flag, you get a bonus. You'll see in a minute. So I'm going to get as much as I can here. Ah, oh, man. That was not good. <laughs> okay, so I usually kill him first. There we go. And then I'll try to get this level just to get points. I'm going to go across. Okay. Now you got to fight the boss here, but when you do, you get another turret. See, I only shoot single right now. So I just killed him. You get a bonus for each level that you pass. That's why you want to do that. So right now I have two, see? Shooting double. Whoa. Let it recharge a little bit. He's trying to steal a guy. I won't let him. <laughs> so there's a lot of in-depth stuff on this game. This game's pretty deep. When you die, you lose your turrets. It's the only thing that stinks. Oh, I was trying to shoot him. Is that my oh, I thought that was my last guy. Guess not. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Nice. I think I'm gonna go across to getting a few guys here. All right. So now each flag is worth more. So that's like 10. Yep, I got him. See, that's 10,000 and that's 1,000. Now it's getting really hard. Yeah, got too hard. <laughs> so that's it. So it's a really cool game. I scored second. I might have scored higher than this. It's probably my initials up there. Let's see. So it's D, E. Oh, I forgot it's only two on this. That's fine. Yep, that's me on the top. All right, so let's escape this. Really cool game. Um, all right, so let's head back and let's uh, kind of close up this video. And, uh, you know, like I said, if you want to see any games in the future, just comment below and I will see if I can get to it, you know. I always like to learn new games and find gems out there in MAME. Okay guys, so we're going to end this video on this note. So MAME is a good tool. It's really fun to play if you have a machine. You get to discover, you know, stuff that you don't really know that's out there. Anytime I see something on Craigslist, I'll usually go to MAME first. I'll look up, see if it's good. I'll play it for a little bit. If I like it, then I'll go ahead and get the original game. Um, it's also useful. A lot of people knock it all the time in the arcade community. but. MAME really, you know, the, the ROMs have been dumped. So if you need to repair a board, where are you going to get the ROMs? You can either get it from another original board or you can just get it from MAME, which have original ROM dumps. So um, a lot of times it's really useful for that. Um, like you saw earlier with Millipede, you know, I was able to compare it to see if the setup screen was what it's supposed to be on the original hardware. So a lot of good uses for that. Um, so anyway, I have this in front of me because this is actually a monitor I'm going to be working on. This is a G07 that I uh, capped in the other episode where I got it working. Um, but um, I'm also going to cap the original one that was in here. Last one was CC's. You could see CC Games. He actually gave me this uh, sweatshirt for the channel. Uh, and, uh, you know, Kevin has been really cool with, um, you know, patient because I've been so busy with stuff. But I finally got around to it. 
mailed it back to him. He had an issue with his uh, pots and it was acting all weird and it was sparking. So he sent it to me. I fixed it for him, sent it back. And now since I have this out, might as well cap my other monitor and leave this as a spear and then see if we could do a tube swap. I want to actually do a tube swap with the yoke. Uh, so this is a CR23, I believe. And I want to, you know, just do the whole thing to make this a brand new G07, redo the whole, um, you know, the chassis and stuff and get it all done and change everything out and just bulletproof it. Um, bulletproof, because it's never bulletproof, as everybody knows, but <laughs> I just say that. Uh, but, you know, we're going to do our best to kind of uh, make it reliable for the next few years and then see if we can get a burn-free tube for it. Um, anyway, by the way, there was a user on my last, um, you know, I'm not sure if it was the last video, but it was one of my videos where I was doing tube swaps and stuff, and he had seen a Zenith that was wood green on here, I ended up recycling that because it, you know, I couldn't use it, but it turned out that that was a 100 degree tube, which could be used in a, I believe a 6100, uh, which is a vector monitor. So had I known, I would have kept it, but that thing is long gone. I tried checking for it. I do not have that tube here. So it kind of stinks, but oh well, what are you going to do? Uh, anyway, so um, <clears throat> I guess that's it. I want to, you know, just thank you guys for this year. I actually couldn't believe it. Like I said in the beginning of the video that I did 52 weeks. Uh, every single week I delivered one or more videos this year. Uh, we've got a lot more subscribers. We have approximately like 3,500 at this point. Uh, next year I plan to do, you know, some cool stuff where I'm traveling. I'm going to try to go to more conventions. Um, so of course, you know, that's going to mean that there's more work because I have a full-time job as well. It's going to be more work with editing. So you may not get it every week like I did, but I'm really proud that I did stick to my New Year's resolution, which is to really hit this channel really hard and to, you know, deliver content that you guys liked. And uh, I always interact with you guys. I have polls, I have Twitter, I have um, uh, Instagram. So if you guys want to see me on that, you can. You can just uh, see pictures that I post. You could talk to me, you could email me. Um, I'm at dellsarcade at gmail.com um, and I'm also, you know, on social media and also I always look at the comments and I try to answer people back. I feel with this community you really have to get a lot of feedback and talk to people and I've made pretty good friends. I uh, want to give a shout out to everybody, um, mainly Mike Currington, he's been here a lot, you know, I'm giving him a shout out because he's always, every time I have super chat on when I do live stuff or when I do, um, you know, the live chat, um, he'll always like throw some money that way, you know, it all goes back into the channel. Um, and also to um, um, Arcade Repair Tips, I believe um, they, I think Jonathan and, uh, was it Jonathan who contacted me? Jonathan and Tim, anyway, they sent a little donation towards the channel, which is really cool of them, you know, telling me Merry Christmas, thanks for what I do for the community and the channel. You know, really, uh, this is why I do it. I like, uh, I guess don't really do it for the money, but I do it for, you know, for the, just making friends and uh, sharing stuff with other people. That's why I do this whole channel, so... Um, you know, it just makes me happy and, uh, you know, it is a full-time job in addition to my other full-time job and I have a family as well, but I try to balance it out. So next year, I'm not going to do as many videos every week. I'm going to try. I probably, I probably will try for every week. Um, but every now and then I may send out a little something that says, Hey, you know, I can't do it this week or whatever it is. So, um, you know, I'm human, things happen. Uh, so anyway, if I disappear for a little bit, I'm not quitting the channel. It's just to have things I have to do. So uh, anyway, so that about does it for this video. Again, I'm on Instagram and Twitter. If you want to hit me up on that. I do have um, t-shirts kind of like this one. This is a CC Games one. I'm not selling this one. CC Games have this. You can go to his channel and you can actually subscribe to him and actually buy it if you want. But I do have the Delusionals Arcade ones that you can see down here. And there's going to be a link in the description as well. Um, those really do support the channel and it's really cool. You know, I make a tiny bit of money on it. Not really that much um, But it you know, they're really quality shirts I may change vendors not really sure because people were asking for tumblers and stuff um, And I may go with a color design I may have something in the back where I have to come up with some something that's original But it's retro at the same time Maybe an emblem or some sort of thing on the back and then on the front I'll have delusionals arcade don't really know yet, uh, but I definitely want to get it done because I want to wear them when I go to the um, conventions and stuff because I am going to be at MAGFest. So if you guys are at MAGFest next week, um, I'm going to be there probably on Friday and Saturday. Maybe more Saturday because Friday I have, um, I'm going to do a pickup video with a buddy of mine. So we might be shooting that day. So maybe Friday, but definitely on Saturday I'm going to be there. Um, it's from, I believe it's from the 2nd all the way up, you know, for like a week to like Sunday in January, but I'm going to be there on Saturday for sure. 
So if you're there, just you know, hit me up on my email or on my social media, and I'll see if we can do a meetup or something. Uh, if you guys want to hang out, um, but you know, we're there just for the video games. We're gonna check that out. We're gonna check out. There's a lot of cosplay on that. I heard it's huge. Uh, there's guys I know there that are artists and stuff that they do painting, pixel painting and stuff. I believe Adam's gonna be there. Um, but anyway, um, yeah. So a lot of stuff in store for this uh, New Year's. Hope you guys had a really good uh, Christmas and. Hanukkah and Kwanzaa and whatever you guys celebrate um, but yeah so we'll be back next year we're gonna hit this thing hard I may take a break the first week because like I said I'm gonna be away shooting stuff at MAGFest so I may not have a video next week if I can get one done in time I will but you know I'm not going to at this point um, but I am gonna probably do the uh, Super Pac-Man next because it's almost done and you know like I said I went to Richie's place he was really cool and he actually plugged it into his and we kind of realized it was the board. So uh, anyway, so I'm rambling now. I'm just going to stop it. Guys, hope you have a really safe and happy new year and I will see you next year. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking it. Please hit the like button. It really does help. I know a lot of people watch it. And there's a ratio here of about 60% of people who are watching, but they're not subscribed. So if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell, hit the bell icon as well. And uh, you'll be notified when I go live and, you know, really cool content. So if you want to see anything below, I know you guys like repair videos. I did a poll on that and uh, I'm going to try to do more of those like this one here and the Super Pac-Man and all that. So, okay. So we'll see you next year. Take care, guys.